Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm working on a 2005 Cadillac Escalade today in black with a tan interior. I just shot a video on how to use hydrogen peroxide to lighten up carpet stains. And uh, now this one is the overall detail video. I'm working on the whole process. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you the car. All right, it's a black 05 Escalade. Um, as you may have seen in a prior video, um, I used hydrogen peroxide to lighten up the stains in this carpet. Uh, I am still in the process of working on this thing, but the carpets look fantastic. They're a lot lighter than they were. Um, I have pictures and that kind of thing. I might add them to this video, but I haven't done anywhere back here or these mats yet. So you can see how, how different that corner is it's all dark and that's lighter so I'm gonna to try to even all of that out um, and you can see just a little bit in the Sun that it's all kinds of scratched up you can see where the Sun is it's all swirled and nasty I'm gonna be using uh, universal all-in-one on this whole thing and uh, she should come out looking pretty good. The front bumper and this black grill area have severe love bug damage, but uh, overall the car's in great shape. I wish I'd have found this deal, I'd have taken it. Um, it's got some issues in the seats and that kind of thing. My customer just bought it and he's having me just freshen it up, make it look great, feel great. Um, you know, disinfect the interior and that's what we're doing. So I'm almost done with the inside. He did a great job of removing a lot of the stains before I even got to it. He tried his hand at it. He wasn't happy with it. He wanted to take it a step further. So here we are. Um, you can also use hydrogen peroxide to clean these. They're not going to clean up 100%, but I absolutely can get them looking better than that. And so I'm going to. Uh, Universal Clean and Prep or even Infinite Purpose Cleaner will clean those with no problem. So I got to get the interior straightened out and then it's just getting an all-in-one on the outside so i'll use universal universal all-in-one uh and i'll bring you back and uh we'll get the uh, led light out i'll cut a panel in half with the tape so you, and polish one side so you can see what's going on but this is it i'm going to go ahead and knock the interior out so i can get out of that i'm going to go ahead and throw my ozone generator in there i told him i do that i just try to add value however i can so uh, that's one of my value adders uh, while i'm working on the polishing it can be filtering out the uh, fabric and the leather and the carpets and that kind of thing. So that's what I'm working on and I'm going to get back to back to business and get her done. So we'll be back to you uh, after I get this interior done and I start the polishing process. I still got to wash it and prep it. So we'll be right back whenever I'm ready to show you more work. All right. So I've got the new smart cut, smart finish and the universal all-in-one polishes uh, I have done three little test spots uh, the game plan for this Escalade was an all-in-one from the get-go so uh, it is supposed to just get a little bit of cut and gloss enhancement with a little bit of uh, protection to see because it's already super bright Look at down at this angle can see it it's a little bit hazy still that's because that right there that section here on this side of the there's a tape line there and a tape line there so what I've done is I did the new smart cut over here and I'm gonna I'll do a dedicated video on these polishes explaining what smart cut means explaining what the new tempered abrasives do and why they're there I'll, I'll, I'll explain all of that in a product video just for the polishes i will be doing product videos on all of my products that will remain on the site which is the infinite lineup the marine series uh the one system obviously uh and the off-road lineup so a cut with the new smart cut and it left a really nice finish it's just slightly hazy which is no problem to get rid of that haze with the new smart finish which i used right there and you can it's obvious how glossy and dark it is 
in person compared to the door where I haven't polished at all. I don't know if you can see it. That's noticeably darker, fewer scratches, just deeper and darker and nicer. So, I mean, you can tell, you can't tell a gloss difference between the Universal All-in-One and the, uh, the new Smart Finish. They're about the same. You can absolutely tell a little bit of a difference between the new Smart Cut. Uh, this is really aggressive. It does a great job of leveling defects. Here you go. You can see, well, you can definitely see the haze, but very few scratches are left. So this is the uh, One System Polishes for 2021. The new Smart Cut is awesome. I mean, it does a great job of cutting. This is the Universal All-in-One. It did a great job of removing a lot of the de defects as well. But again, it's an all-in-one. So basically, we start with the new Smart Finish uh, formula. We add just a little bit more abrasive, and we add the Ceramacrylics blend, uh, and that's how you come into Universal All-in-One. But the final finish is fantastic. I mean, it just... I mean, if you guys could see this in person, I don't know how it's coming out on camera, but... These two are incredibly glossy. This one, not as glossy. So that's just what all three look like. Um, well, I would say in person, but just trying to get you all the angles. Now, that again, there's a little haze left there. It's supposed to do that. It's a heavy duty compound, but a quick polish with the new Smart Finish or universal all-in-one you can use universal all-in-one right over top of it no problem and you get you get stellar results i mean amazing gloss clarity depth all that cool stuff so those are the three one system polishes um i mean they just do a great job um let's see if we can show you see the final polish or the smart smart finish doesn't quite give the correction of universal all-in-one but it still looks nice and the difference the main difference you can see is see how hazy that is that's where the tape was same with that area you can see it better in that light um, it's hazy but it's really clear after you polish it the other cool thing about the new tempered abrasives is uh, and just the water-based formulas that they are so they're all three well the Smart cut and smart finish are body shop safe, but because of the ceramic acrylics blend, uh, it will also it will definitely cause an issue if you try to paint over it. So it will be, need to be remo removed and uh, that kind of thing before any paint gets applied in a body shop scenario. But as far as the polishes go, they have very short working times because they're water based. So with a more with a solvent base uh, with other lubr lubricating oils and that kind of thing, you get extended work time but you guys know me i'm all about working smarter not harder and getting more done in less time without compromising quality that's what i do and these polish these all three of these polishes make the polishing jobs that you have so much easier um little to no, to no dust easy wipe away you can use them in direct sunlight I don't always, well, I never recommend that for polishes, but you can if you need to. Um, all of my stuff is designed around the Pro Mobile Detailer, uh, so you can you can use them in direct sunlight a lot of the times, most of the time, uh, and you get amazing results from the polishes. I mean, that's just the bottom line. Awesome results, better looking paint, that's what you want, and far less time. So I will do dedicated product videos on all three of the polishes. Uh, for the one system, as well as all the other products, are going to get their own dedicated videos this for 2021. Uh, that's my plan for this winter, and uh, that's kind of where we're at. So I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse on what was happening. Uh, I polished with the Harbor Freight Dual Action Polisher and the five inch buff and shine orange pad uh, same I, I wash the pad each time you don't want to 
cross contaminate or whatever. Uh, if I'm using uh, the finishing polish, I have no problem jumping up to the compound without cleaning it out because you're just adding more abrasive, uh, but I wouldn't go backwards with it. Uh, and if you use universal all-in-one, you wanna make sure that pad's clean before you use any other polish because the ceramic acrylics blend will absolutely dilute uh, the abrasives uh, to, a, to a point. All right, we got most of this Escalade done. I switched from the orange Buff and Shine pad to the red one because I just wasn't getting the, the the deep dark blackness I was looking for. So I just polished this section with Universal All-in-One 2021 version with the uh, custom custom tempered abrasives uh, and the smart technology. The Harbor Freight DA with the five inch red buff and shine pad. So I'm just pulling the tape it's dramatically blacker over here. That's got like a really dark gray haze. You can see the difference. Yes, it is. This thing is absolutely hammered, but it is glossy as all get out now. But you can see how bad it is. This is not a correction detail. This is a... He just bought this thing and wants it to look a little bit better. Um, I did not polish uh, this plastic piece right here. So that line was basically the border there and then the tape. But you can see how dark it is and nice with Universal All-in-One. And that's without even a more aggressive pad. Usually I use the Universal All-in-One with the orange pad, which is it's a great, great cutting and finishing. It's a good in the middle pad for, well, an All-in-One. But I used the red pad. We could have got more correction for sure without even a, a doubt or question with the orange pad. Oh, and the other thing is I'm actually polishing it on speed four and a half. So uh, not even the five or even the six that some of you guys like to use. Sometimes slowing it down gives you a better finish. So... But most of the time, I just run it at five. That machine is more powerful than the current uh, Harbor Freight DAs. Uh, so on speed six, on the newer one, would be totally fine. But uh, I had to just back it off a little bit to get this awesome goodness. So all I've got left to polish is the roof and then the other side of this uh, hatch here. So, But I wanted to just give you guys a quick clip of what I'm doing and uh, like I said that's universal all-in-one with that red pa pad and it looks awesome I mean yes I, I agree it's all swirled up those are random isolated deeper scratches they're super deep and again this is a one-step all-in-one polish detail it's always paying for it's all that for what he's gonna be doing with this car I don't know that I would do any more and I, I kind of like you know, I don't nickel and dime my clients. I tell them exactly what my recommendation is based on what they're doing, their budget and reality. And then we go from there. Uh, it's, it's uncommon for a customer not to take my recommendation because, well, I do this for a living and they called me. That's the bottom line. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing up, get the roof done, get the rest of this back end done. And then it's just going to get wiped down with a bottle of, uh, this is just an old bottle. It's not CB3. This is actually Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with Triple Tech. That's the brand new one for 2021. Uh, so I'll finish this and we'll be back uh, whenever I'm done. All right, guys. Okay, okay, okay. She's all done. I'll tell you what, this thing is hammered. I mean, it looks awesome now compared to how it did look, but you can see it's all kinds of not good. So all I wanted to do was get some of the gloss back and uh, we definitely did that. Wanted to get some gloss back and um, get some protection on it, remove some of the scratches. And you can see it looks awesome as far as just a little gloss from a 15 year old vehicle. So. That's where we're at with the outside. Did the roof, 
The interior is all done. Notice it's all fantastic looking in here now. I do have the ozone generator running, so I'm just going to show you guys real quick what's happening. Uh, carpets are all clean. There's dramatic evidence right there that this thing's been repainted, at least in this quarter panel. Um, much lighter. Looks great. Ozone generator is doing its thing. I'll shoot a video about why you need that too uh, soon. Gotta wipe some residue off. But it looks awesome. It's a lot lighter than it was. Everything in here looks great. So that's it. As you can see, I am sweating because it's like 100 degrees, no, like 90 degrees here today in Florida. Uh, I'm in Tampa and this is Halloween day. I love it when it's hot. So check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes and what I've got going on. If you wanna see more of what I do every day, detailing, dealing with the products, talking about the products, all of that, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. Message me on Facebook, find me on Instagram at gary.dean.35 on Instagram. Uh, I'll put it right here. And uh, follow me uh, wherever you can. If you want to see more about what I've got going on and what I'm doing, uh, check out detailjuice.com for all your detailing product needs. You're going to be amazed at what the 2021 detailing season has in store. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me babble. I appreciate you for taking the time. So have a great day, guys. And check out, or I should say, not check out, but stay tuned for the next one because I got a whole lot more videos coming. Thanks again, guys.